Greetings and welcome! Hello! If you've been following us for a while, then you know that we love antiques and thrifting and this 1920s cottage that we live in is fully furnished with our vintage thrift finds. So for this video, we thought it would be fun to share our latest treasures that we found on estate sales and thrift stores and all over the place actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> during the last year or so. We love secondhand shopping because it's not only great for your wallet, but great for the environment and you find some really charming treasures that are just truly one of a kind. <laughs> just like you. Aww. But in case you're new here, my name is Jonas. And I'm Lindsay. And we would love for you to subscribe and be a part of our Cozy Cottage Club. Yeah. So in case you haven't already, why don't you pour yourself a nice cup of tea? And let's have a cozy little time together when we share and show our thrift finds with you and tell the story behind them. Sounds lovely. <laughs> I must say this is the most favorite part of the video, the first sip of tea. Oh. And it's a lovely spring rain outdoors and here we are with something warm in our cups mm -hmm. and we are clinking and clonking yeah. <laughs> and talking and have a nice cozy time with you all. So we love thrifting at the start of every season because it just helps bring me some inspiration for my home decor and sometimes when we're out thrifting we find exactly what we were hoping for but then other times we sometimes find something a little different than we had hoped for but then it actually kind of works out better in the end that way. And then there's also those things that we didn't buy because they are way too big to fit in our little tiny cottage. Yeah. <laughs> but it's nice to look at and it's fun to window shop. Say hi and move on. <laughs> we can take a picture and remember them. So most often when we're thrifting, it ends up being a lot of seasonal items that we find or, you know, knickknacks that are just really charming. But recently, as we've been coming into spring and we're decluttering and trying to make this little cottage more functional, we have been focusing on some changing up a little bit of our furniture and doing a bit of a bedroom makeover. And recently we found an amazing find at an estate sale. So I saw a listing for an estate sale that was titled the My Fair Lady House. And I was thinking, okay, we have to go to this sale. And it turned out being the home where the musical, uh, the lyrics and music were written. So that was pretty cool to just walk around and we're gonna share more of that estate sale over on Patreon in an exclusive video. So that is where we stumbled across the secretary desk and it caught my eye because it's hand painted with flowers and there's just something so very charming about it. And it happened to be the perfect measurements for this small space I had it in mind for by our old front door. And just a little side note, it almost turned out to be one of those objects that we didn't buy mm -hmm. because we could simply not stop thinking about it and had to go back the next day to see if it was still available and which it was. L like it us. Was, yes. And a little pro tip, if you show up at an estate sale on the last day and if what you're looking for is still available, they'll usually give you a much better price. <laughs> so we took it home. Okay, so why don't we continue with some ceramics that we have to share or uh, how I call them, tools for tea. So what do you have there? I have a very exciting and special cup. So for the untrained eye, it might look like a regular random cup, but I actually grew up in Sweden uh, looking for these flowers in the springtime. And I'm, I'm happy that we have them around here too. It's kind of make me a little nostalgic. So what do you call them and in Swedish? We call them Tusilago, which also it says Tusilago Far, far for a, far for a. <laughs> it must uh, be the botanical name. I know. <laughs> Don't take my word for it though. So what do you get there? A little teacup. And it has a really exciting shape. Yeah, it's kind of nice with the little scalloped edges. It kind of looks like a flower shape. <laughs> it does. Mm. I'm actually not sure what kind of flower it is exactly. Underneath it just says Fine Bone China, Shelley England, Blue Rock. I just thought the dainty little blue and white flowers were just so pretty for springtime. Where did you find it? This was at an estate sale for five dollars. Don't you wonder who used it? Yeah. All the tea yeah. parties it has seen. Oh, you're right. Now it gets to be at the cottage for tea time. Mm -hmm. And uh, next we have uh, some sort of a teapot. 
or a watering can. <laughs> I was making a joke there. <laughs> so, so what can we say about you can this? See that I've attempted to have some flowers in it, mm. uh, but can I give it another go this spring? <laughs> I just think it's so pretty with the little tulips on it. I did try to use it as a watering can for the indoor plants, but it, that's really not what it's supposed to be made for. <laughs> it didn't come out right. It just kind of went everywhere. So mm. that's why I tried to grow flowers in it instead. <laughs> Next, there's a few pretty plates. Twin plates. Oh, you're right. So these say Ivoryware John Maddock and Sons made in England. <laughs> mm. I feel like every good tea object is made in England. Very often, yes. And I wonder, I'm not sure what these flowers are either. Maybe anyone knows. And I just have a few more kind of porcelain items here. Where's your maid? Mine says just genuine porcelain. And this literally say foreign. It <laughs> suits me. Because you're a foreigner? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> these ones I'm planning to have in our bathroom because we have like kind of a cottage garden theme in there so this is a little soap dish with butterflies on it i think it's very charming the actual use for this one is it, it is a bed for the watching can oh yeah that's what i love this about is, thrifting yeah is that sometimes something two things that didn't come together fit perfectly together the, this, these are made for each other yeah. i think do you remember what i told you in the store when we talked about this, if we should buy it or not. Because I said, oh, the soap is going to cover the pattern. But then I said that it's actually a good thing because it increases the use of using a soap because you kind of want to use it to, to see the picture. <laughs> like use the soap and like see so the picture. Super fresh and clean. You, you, it makes you happy. And the last of the ceramics is this little flower vase. I think it's a flower vase. It has flowers on it. And a question I get when I see this is, uh, are the flowers invasive? Oh, or hopefully not invasive because they're so pretty. But they are on a vase. Oh, you're right. It's in a vase. In vase. Invasive flowers. <laughs> so outside, the snowdrops are just starting to blossom, the first of the spring flowers. So I think it'll be nice to just like put them in. Right, shall we move on, Jonas? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Nice. Very Ooh, you exotic. Like that? You like that? It kind of smells like yeah. a, an antique house where we got it from. <laughs> oh, I was going to say that it feels like the Spanish wind Oh, in a siesta. Okay. Oh, I thought it smelled kind of like a grandma. <laughs> oh, okay. You, yeah. you have never been to Spain. Still pretty chilly here in New York. But before you know it, I will be needing this in my purse. I'll need to be, you know, a fair lady in the summer fanning myself. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be really handy. Yeah, and it's very those hot days. Nature friendly air condition. Yeah. I'd like to show this border. So this border is nothing that we knew we needed before we saw it. Very true. That looks like it would go well in our little cottage garden bathroom. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if it works in there. I don't know if it's long enough yeah. for how to apply it and or if uh, it'll stick to the wall. But yeah, we'll, we'll get some other type of neighborhood yeah. by putting this up. It's so charming. Oh, I've been saying charming so much, but look at this little cottage and mm -hmm. garden. There's nothing more charming than a beautiful trash can. <laughs> <laughs> Trash is a part of life, so why don't make it a little bit more glamorous? Um, so what flower is this? It's for sure a, a really nice trash can. It says camellia on it. Mm. So yeah, I think it'll, you know, keep things looking fresh and nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about some baskets? How about some baskets? <laughs> these are... Uh, I had to contain myself. We have a few of these already, but we do like them because they have a good function. Yes. I must say. Can you tell us a little bit about it? I just love baskets. They are make everything look so much more cottage core. Mm. And they're just great for storage and drawers and what's not to love? We we use them everywhere throughout the cottage. And so I'm always grabbing more in this size because they're just so great to mm. use as you're organizing. And you can also have your basket for your basket. 
even better. And this basket I picked up because I've been looking for one to use for a little vintage Easter basket style display. It even came with a plastic lining, so it looks like you could put flowers or some moss, you know, in the bottom and kind of build up from there. So I'm excited to see what I can do with this. Sometimes I like to put things inside my baskets <laughs> mm -hmm. for display. And what is not to love about this little welcome sign? Little bird's nest and watering can. This is just like everything I love for springtime. And this tray was uh, actually a gift from my big brother. Yeah, and uh, it's a Swedish dala horse, as we call them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure man, many of you have seen them. And next is these brass candlesticks that make a cute little noise. Mm -hmm. And I am just always on a mission to pick up these kind of candlesticks to go with uh, our future academia bedroom makeover <laughs> that I'm trying to do. Then we have uh, placemats yes. that always uh, sp spruce up the table. So yeah, that's what they're intended for mm -hmm. on the table. But what I actually <laughs> ended up using them for was creating sort of a backsplash. So I placed them against the wall in the kitchen and it just really brought a nice, you know, refreshing mm -hmm. thing to look at when you're cooking <laughs> and doing the dishes. This one was perfect in the fall with the fall leaves and foliage. And these we just picked up that have flowers and nuts and refreshing florals. So the next section is books and paper of all sorts. And what do we think about these, Jonas? I love these old prints. They're so beautiful. And they are actually coming from old books. Yes. Like probably the 1800s. Mm -hmm. I have a major weakness for antique illustrations of like flora and fauna. So this fern and violets and the cute sparrows, just, oh, they get me right in the heart. I really love that these comes from old books and uh, they've been used and looked at and yeah. now they are like in our cottage. Yeah. It, I also like that uh, just prints of old botanical things like brings nature in. And this one came from the Catskills Mountains in the book village of Hobart. Mm. Isn't that wonderful there? It was lovely yeah. and I could go back tomorrow if you ask me. <laughs> okay from prints of nature to it gets better. Here is some lovely books. Books of nature. These are the Golden Nature Guide book series and every time I have shown these in a video before in our decor Many of you seem to remember these very fondly from your childhood, so that was really sweet to hear. I absolutely love the illustrations, and I think there's a few books that we're still missing, like the, the bug, ocean bugs. and insects ones. Insects. Yeah, <laughs> but these are our favorites anyway. So we have the birds, the trees, stars, and mammals. Oh, it says right here inside. There's birds, flowers, trees, insects, stars, reptiles, amphibians, mammals, seashores, fishes, weather, rocks, and minerals. Mm. And the most recent of the series that we found was also in the Catskills, the mammal book. And why do we love this one so, so much? Because it has Tibby. Ah, the little chipmunks. We can actually read about Tibby. They're so cute. In case anyone doesn't know, we have a resident chipmunk that lives outside of the cottage here. So Tibby is our little chipmunk friend that we love so much. He's been in hibernation since like November, so we've really missed seeing him around. And guess what? I know. We just saw him for the first time this year and he looks so cute and fluffy. You could really tell he just had woken up. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I wonder if we caught him on the day that he came out of hibernation because he looked very sleepy. He was just taking his time. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so good to see him again. So you know how I'm always trying to pretend I am Snow White and I'm trying to befriend all the cobweb critters <laughs> around here. And I think that's a big reason why too. We just love collecting vintage flora and fauna. But we, <gasps> we have another TB to show you. Because Tibby and Chipmunk is just the same thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> exactly. Um, look at this book. Oh my goodness. Chipmunk's ABC. 
It is a little golden book <laughs> and we found it in California on our trip this January. Um, we actually have a exclusive video over on Patreon if you want to see. We did some antique window shopping in the orange circle in California and that is where we found this beauty. So that's yep. from 1963. It's just such a clever idea for a book going through the ABCs and everything that it stands for in the little chipmunk world. And of course, C is for chipmunk. It is a chipmunk who lives in the burrow under the apple tree. Aww. Hmm. Very nice. <laughs> That's so cute. In our Patreon video, we show every page in the book, but we have a few favorites we want to show you. Tibby in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and also, this is kind of nice tea time. I love his little overall so much. <laughs> it's so <laughs> cozy. <laughs> That's what you need to get me. Little chipmunk overalls? Yeah. <laughs> now we have to imagine that that is how Tibby dresses mm -hmm. when we don't see him. Yeah. <laughs> that You mean that he doesn't hibernate? He he really go to another place and dress up? He's off on an adventure. Yeah. So that is the end of our little thrift finds that we wanted to show you and we hope you enjoyed hearing all the little stories behind them. We would love to hear if you've had some luck while thrifting recently. You can tell us in the comments maybe some of your favorite finds and something charming about them. So before we wrap up this video we have a few announcements and updates. Yes. Since we share so much of our vintage cottage core lifestyle here we get asked pretty often more detailed questions about the items themselves or if we would ever be selling vintage. At this time we are not able to do that, but we are happy to share that we now have an Amazon storefront. So we're calling it our Charming Cottage Shop and it's so nice that over there we can create different boards that are kind of inspired by our vintage lifestyle here. We have home decor, you have even your art supplies. Mm -hmm. We have basically every room of the cottage, we have a board inspired by those items. And we also have started to put together seasonal gift guides. And it's just really nice that we are able to link different items over there that are inspired by all of our home decor that we have thrifted over the years, because it can take a long time to build up your vintage style home decor. We know that very well. It's taken us a long mm. time. And so Still a work in progress. it is. So and we know not everyone is able to do that. So this Amazon storefront is a great way to be able to share more of that inspiration with you all. Something else that is new is that we have created an Amazon wish list where we can link items that we personally have been looking for that things that we've been trying to thrift for a while and just haven't had success. So all of our Cozy Cottage Club friends here, you all are so kind and generous and often ask how you can send us gifts and it is something that we are never asking for. Mm. But since you are asking, we thought it would be nice to create this wish list. So no obligation whatsoever. We've just created this list as a easier way if you feel so inspired to want to send us a little gift, then you can know exactly what we have our eye on. And also a big thank you for everyone of you who have sent us gifts um, over the holidays or Christmas cards or any cards and letter. It's so thoughtful of you and we really appreciate it. However, going forward when it comes to our PO box, we have updated our policy uh, that we can only accept flat items such as postcards and letters. We've been constantly blown away with by your generosity and that you care enough about us <laughs> to mm. want to send us gifts and cards but it's gotten a little hard for us to keep up with and we feel really bad about that. So we hope these updates will just make everything run a little bit smoother. So our final reminder and announcement is that we are having a giveaway Yay! where you can win uh, one art print of my own original art, but I can excite you and say that it's actually bigger than this one. It's <laughs> a little bit taller than an eight by 10. This is a five by seven, but you can win an eight by 10 sized art print printed on sustainable bamboo paper mm -hmm. and that's like the gallery quality and it mm -hmm. looks really good. And this artwork is called the Storybook Cottage and it is so whimsical, you did such a beautiful job. I think it's a lovely way to welcome spring into your hearts and home and so don't forget to enter the giveaway in the link below. And on the link you can also see more detailed pictures of the actual art print you can win. And just make sure to read the instructions for the giveaway to make sure you are entered correctly. And we're excited to be hosting this this month to say thank you for all of your support 
for our cozy cottage community that we love so much. So thank you for sharing the joy of vintage and thrifting with us and it would mean so much to us if you maybe wanted to share this video or our channel with a fellow vintage loving friend. That would be lovely. As the spring rain is really settling in, it's getting a little darker and I feel it's time for a good fika. It is fika time. So we'll see you in another video soon. Bye for now. Bye for now.